under a tree across from Paisley Park. I wish I had somebody that would grab paintings out of my hands after two hours. Dan Lacey has set up shop once again. I'm looking at the shapes and the tones, and, and I'm just working with the, that way I don't, um, I don't, paint what's not there. The artist first came to this spot just hours after Prince's death and has returned each year to create a new portrait of the music legend. I don't want to just copy a photograph. I want to put something into it. He says the scene around Paisley Park has evolved since 2016. It's more controlled and it's a lot quieter and people seem to, more people seem to know what to expect. The fans, you know, the continuous fans, they know where to go. And they don't necessarily have to be here. Indeed, some fans are making the Prince pilgrimage, which isn't complete without a stop at First Avenue downtown. He was a great musician, um, one of the best guitarists ever. And I've always loved Prince. I grew up with listening to Prince and uh, coming here to First Avenue when he was making a name for himself. Carol Nelson is heading back home to Colorado with a permanent reminder of her love for Prince. Uptown, I'm here in Minneapolis, I had to do it for Prince. She says while the crowds of years past aren't as present, the love true fans have for Prince hasn't gone away. Never. It's different. People are going to celebrate and mourn in different ways. It wasn't the shape of his eyes. It was the way that he held his stare. And for Dan Lacey, that means sharing his craft. When it comes to Prince, uh, what's important to me, because I spent a lot of time thinking about this, I, 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 I want to have something that's, um, I feel good about.